Is proof of identity too much to ask? Screenshots included. I'm 35, single, live in Manhattan. I'm on the apps and go on a lot of dates and actually have a lot of fun dating generally. I love getting to know getting to know you conversations on first dates. I ask a lot of questions and I'm very interested in people's stories. So I like when guys are open and engaging because I am too. I do keep some identifying details to myself until I know I'm interested in the guy because I'm pretty easily searchable online once... Uh, Pretty easily searchable online. Once I tell someone where I work or about my side hustle, which generally comes up at the end of the first date if I'm hoping for a second one, I understand that guys are sometimes private too, but I have now been out with two guys who are using privacy as a cover for doing shady shit. I'm having trouble figuring out how to weed those guys out sooner than later and how much is reasonable for me to ask early on. For example... I went out with one guy five times over the course of a month, texted a ton throughout, and a few calls. After the first date, I told him about my professional stuff so he knew my last name, and I asked for his last name. He gave it to me, and he said he's pretty private and doesn't do social media, so I probably won't find much of my Googling. I found nothing. It wasn't until I ran his phone number through a background search site a month later that I found his real last name and his recent wedding photos on the Martha Stewart Living Instagram. Oh, my God. And his beautiful nine-month pregnant wife. Hey. So when I went out with another guy recently who fit the same profile, upper 30, successful, commutes into the city to meet clients, paid for our $200 dinner in cash, I was on high alert. He was persistent and super communicative and available all hours of the day, so no real signs of a wife over the next two weeks. Still, I couldn't find anything in my internet sleuthing without his last name, so after a couple of dates and lots of talking, I asked for it. He gave it to me in the same story about no social media, works in internet privacy, so he takes it very seriously, etc. So sketchy. I searched everywhere, phone number included, and still nothing, so I mentioned it to him. Screenshots attached. Works in internet privacy? I don't know what that means, but let's read the screenshots. You be her, I'll be him. We can get a little more risque once we know each other better. I don't even know your last name, LOL. See, she's trying to dig it out, which I think that's a great, fun way to dig it out. Like, I actually totally agree with how it's smooth. You think? And also, she's referencing risque. So he's obviously asking for risque. Yeah. You think? Half of the time, I'm thinking in French and speaking, writing in English, even after so long. Some of those French words can sound very sophisticated English, hence the effect you're getting. But hey, what's not to like? Ha ha. Going back a couple texts, good or bad surprise, my euphemisms. I am now curious what informal looks like. I generally tend to be very intentional. Smiley face. Okay, I don't even understand. I don't know what that was. I can't even imagine translating everything in my head, even if it becomes second nature. There must be something to the French-English formality thing. I don't think a guy has ever texted me the word hence. Ha ha. I was actually going to say that I really like your ability to express your thoughts and provide feedback on how you are receiving things spontaneously. It is starting to feel like I've known you for a while. Hence. Ha ha ha. I would have never thought. He sounds like AI. I agree. Nothing about this feels right, but I'm giving him a break for the language barrier that's being referenced here. But at the same time, none of this is fun. They've been on, she's said many dates, right? Yeah, there's, he's using so many words to say nothing. It's crazy. That And that's a little, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So she says, good surprise, but keyword surprise. I couldn't tell if they were euphemisms or just translation issues. It's much easier to respond when I know it's intentional. Well, thank you. I do have a PhD in communication. Ha ha. God, there's so many ha ha ha's. It's really starting to feel very self-conscious. <laughs> ha ha. Now, now you, you know, know it's intentional. intentional. Indeed. I think, I think everyone, everyone should get a PhD, PhD in communication. Then. Not, Not that, that everyone, everyone could, could, but it would make, make a better world. world. I, I enjoy, enjoy conversing, conversing with you. you. Um, we, we are, are either really, really on the same, same wavelength, wavelength slash communication style, or you're, you're putting that PhD to work, PhD to work big time. time. I would rather the former. former. I, I hope, hope a guy texts you the former before, before LOL. LOL. Haha, I'm definitely not putting my PhD to work with you, so it must be the former. And chances are better that I've texted that phrase or that I've been texted that phrase, LOL. And now it's midnight, so I got to go to sleep. Thanks for checking in. Sleep tight. It's funny that like they had 
this whole communicate this whole talk about how great their communication is and he has ignored the last name thing to na- like in this t- entire time he writes bon knew it whatever that means and then writes, bon by me. the way <laughs> or bon we <laughs> because i'm a fucking idiot <laughs> bonnie nut bonnie nut um yeah by the way and then he gives his last name no he gives four different names which no he says last name and then by the way and then gives the full name oh so he gives it okay here we go all right okay so um this is on a thursday she writes busy day delay this is days later i'm assuming busy day delay that's a nice last name what am i going to find when i google you this conference we're at is actually really awesome. Like 500 people and 15 ish speakers like NFL players, major nonprofit leaders, et cetera. Surprisingly fun. He writes a couple hours later. Hi, busy Atlanta. Thank you. I could not get my parents to give me an actual meaning of it. Ha ha. I try to keep a low online profile. Let's see what you come up with. I don't remember the last name. I Google last time I Googled myself and generally don't have an appetite for looking up others. I do that enough already for work. LOL. I prefer when it's volunteered. That sounds like a major event. Maybe I should be Googling you. LOL. Um, and then she writes back. Ha ha. I mean, you guys, we got to stop with the stop throwing ha ha's around. All right. (laughs) Um, I didn't I mention I'm kind of a big deal. Feel free to do some Googling. My last name is blank. Plenty to find, though. That's not quite fair because my initial search on you is turning up nothing at all. And I'm pretty good at it. Got to be diligent when dating these days. No business site, not even a LinkedIn. You might be a ghost. See, she's trying to let him know I don't feel safe with you. Like at this point, he should be like, "Here's my Instagram. Like, here's my website." You know, like if he if he really wanted to try, he could try right now because it's screaming, "Hey, tell me who you are. Tell me who you are. I'm getting a little bit of a weird vibe. Sounds like you are. Well, I never doubted that. You have presence, me. You have presence, me, or you could tell me more when we meet, when meet." does not come naturally to me. Oh, wow, I must still be doing good then. Well, I know I will have to do the whole online website, et cetera, thing when I go from just W9 and maybe incorporate into a real practice. But then again, I will continue to resist LinkedIn as I believe true true value pulls instead of pushing, LOL. See, now he's making it a moral thing, which is annoying. He's basically giving you his belief system when you're just like, hey, Give me a fucking name. Like, give me a website. And he's like, well, in my world, push instead of pull. And it's like, now he's he's taking a little bit of an elitist. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you understand Moxie Mar- Marlin Spike, you will understand me. And then he sends a thing about privacy. It's like, now's not the time to talk about privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. And it's like, they've been on dates. So it's like, right? They've like. Yeah, they've been on dates. Yeah, they've been uh, comes to the city paid for our two hundred dollar dinner. Like now is not the time for, you know, your New Yorker article about privacy. Like now is the time for like I am not talking about at high level. I'm talking about you. I don't know you. Yeah. Yeah. So she says I get it. After this is after the New Yorker article. At at, <coughs> at which point I would have blocked him. Um, yeah, you're out. I get it. The privacy thing's important. My aim with Googling is more about making sure people are who they say they are. Did I mention I've had some sketchy dating experiences? Not calling you out specifically, just covering my bases. And I understand, but I am struggling to imagine. Tell me more. Did you date real ghost? See, no. I'm scared now, LOL. Yeah, now he's in joke land. Oh, tell me about the other person who, who who was fake, not me. Yeah, it's a lot of deflection. Not quite. I dated a guy who gave me a fake last name and had a wife and baby at home. And more than one other guy has lied about significant aspects of their lives. So I'm a bit cautious when someone isn't findable online in 2021. As you should. Once bitten, twice. Once bitten, twice shy. More like. What is he? uh, uh, What is he? (laughs) He sounds like he's like like a sorcerer. Like, what is he? The Riddler? Once bitten, twice shy. More like multiple times bitten, forever shy in your case. Like, Which, dude. by the way, this is a criticism 
like this is a criticism that's sort of like shrouded in a joking kind of thing. Like but you should have now known. he's criticizing her and saying like, oh, now you're now you won't trust anyone forever, you know, I, and it's like that's not what she's fucking saying. Yeah. And he mentions he goes, have you seen the movie Doubt? I mean, like that the movie Doubt is not about this. I thought like, the movie <laughs> Doubt was about molestation in the Catholic Church. Exactly. It's not about it's okay. It's one of those things. Unfortunately, you are always in control. I do appreciate you not projecting your past experience on me, as that makes for the most unpleasant dating experience. Uh, now it's a warning. It yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah, don't. It's like don't ask me about this anymore. Yeah. Okay, so she writes back on a Friday. Good afternoon. Yeah, that movie Doubt was unsettling. Not sure if I see the similarities to my situation, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Hold on. Um, not sure if I see the similarities to my situation, though. It's easy for a guy to prove who he is, who he says he is. Then the doubt goes away. Ha ha. Um, it's not like he's. It's not like a he said, she said situation, you know, not trying to project any past stuff, just learning from past mistakes. Every woman I know has been through similar stuff in New York. And then he writes back, hello, <laughs> he's always Mr. Positive. Very unsettling is the essence of uh, my referring to doubt. This is five would, hours later, by the way. Yeah. You would never know which path for better or worse. Someone coming into your life could have set it on if you did not try like everything he talks is in poetry and I, it's just such bullshit this is an easy answer to this there's an easy answer and he's avoiding it with like this confusing language but in the age of online dating there are luckily plenty of choices still you would not know for the for that one reason i only say that based on what i had started to envision now i would not let rihanna ashley what is he saying i'll translate this because i read it like again this is what he's saying He's unsettled by her reaction to his reference to doubt. Um, now, now he's saying you would never know which path for better or worse someone coming into your life could have set it on. So he's like, you never know what path someone could set you on if you let them into your life. Hey. But uh, it's a cult speak. If you don't try, you know, yeah. So he's like, he's saying that you're like shutting me like he's like, oh, you're shutting me out. You're then he says. Um, you know, in the age of online dating, there's plenty of choices. So he's like, I have plenty of choices. And Aye. then he's saying, and then he's saying, but you wouldn't know. About, and, you know, so do you. You have plenty of choices, too. But you would never know what would have happened between us. And then he says, now, I wouldn't let I only say that based on what I had started to envision. So he's started to envision a future with her. Now he's like. He's he's selling the future. He's basically saying like you would. I'm a guy who's thinking about commitment. He knows that that's something women in general want. And he's then he goes. Now I would not let Rihanna, Ashley Graham, or Anna De Armas ID me as the sole condition to sleep with them. I will let you unpack. Perhaps it is a culture thing but i struggle enough already with having to show id at some businesses that you can imagine how discombobulating the thought of having to submit that to that for dating can be for me so hard no i won't bear the responsibility for all the other jackasses sorry i have to go back in the water now and he sends a selfie i mean he sends a selfie of him on the beach with sunglasses is he on the beach? Let me zoom in on these fucking sunglasses. I mean, I don't know. It's. Yeah. So that's the end of the conversation. So she writes, he is obviously sh uh, shady motherfucker and I'm completely done. He won't get a reply from me. But am I being unreasonable and wanting to know a, a guy is telling the truth about who he is? No, I don't think you are. How could I avoid this in the future right off the bat? I ask all the questions and do as much vetting as I can. But are sneaky guys just unavoidable in New York? I think they're unavoidable anywhere, but I. I I think there's things that we could do. Am I in the right thinking that everyone should be findable online in some capacity or else they're using a fake name? Thank you for your insights. And I hope you cringe as much as me as his were as his we at his weird formality via text. He was cute and fun in person. I swear. So what do you think? I think honestly that she's doing everything that she can to like sure. stop this stuff when she sees it. And, and the way that she's going about it is like, is fine. I think she's being pretty fun and cute and direct about it. But but like I think she could stand to be a little less cute about it. You know. Yeah. I don't I, think we need to make things cute for them. Like 
if if I'm in that situation, I'm going to be like, hey, dude, why can't I see you online? Like, what's your what's your deal? Yeah. And and then if they give me like some long ass answer already, I'm sure her flags were going up. You could you could read it in her texts. But like you you got to just be like, oh, well, that's that sort of feels sketchy to me. So I'm going to head out. There's a piece of this where it seems like she's trying to not be offensive. And it's like there's nothing offensive as having wanting to feel good about going out with someone. And it's not too much to ask for proof of identity. It's too much to keep asking them to keep, you know, it is too much to keep letting someone lie to you. If they won't. And listen, it's like when people are like, should a guy pay for the first date? If that makes you feel good then they should. If it doesn't matter, then it doesn't matter and they shouldn't. But in this case, this is a very much more serious thing. I would want to be able to find the person. If I couldn't find them, I wouldn't be able to trust them. And that's it. When you keep going with it, it's like when it comes to identity in this day and age, it, it, now you're you're trying to make they're lying easier on them because you're afraid of like offending them. It feels like. Right. And all the ha ha's and the cutesy, like LOLs and the trying to like soften the blow yeah. of like, of something that isn't really a blow. <clears throat> it's just you asking for some information so that you feel safe on a date with this dude who's like only paying in cash. It's just that pretty much makes sense to me. It would make sense to anyone else. And I think a lot of times we don't ask, we don't like run this stuff by our girlfriends because we're afraid that they're going to be like, are you a fucking idiot? Sure. That's, I mean, that's why she's coming here, I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, But I really think that you know that what you're asking for is not too much. And also, you don't know this guy. So even if it is too much, who cares? Yeah, you who don't cares? know him. You're not losing anything by losing him because you don't, you do not know him. It is, the whole thing is like, you know, I don't think this is a New York thing. I think this is just out there. It is the price that comes with internet dating um, that you're going to have people that are going to try and take advantage of whatever loopholes there are in internet dating. And I think it is just so, like, I think it's okay to just go. Go Sorry. ahead. Also, that line about like, I wouldn't give my ID to Rihanna or so and so. Let me tell you something. Yes, the fuck you would, because yeah. you, you would sign. <laughs> you would not only give them your ID, you would sign a non-disclosure agreement yeah. to sleep with those women. OK, absolutely. Because that's part of the fucking deal if you're going to sleep with those women. So he's like out of his mind. I just think it's, he's like a crazy person being not, like, oh, I would never show my ID to sleep with it. Yeah, you know, well, it's also this morals work on the internet. They always, the, the most, if whoever gets to the top of Moral Mountain first wins, and he is rushing to the top to make you the bad guy. Don't forget to like the video you just watched. I have many more. Subscribe to the channel right now. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, you fool. There's even a bell you can click to. Now you've got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.